This is a video to clarify um, the subject of economics uh, for those of us who, um, especially in the world of cryptocurrencies, um, maybe you're interested in gold and silver or you're interested in the production of um, government issued monies, uh, things like that. Um, from us from us from the point of view of a society um here's how you can judge something whether or not it has value um although i i'm open to the idea that uh value is subjective like as in um similar to the idea of art is subjective what's good art it's what you like however in economics this is not the case and i'm gonna talk about this okay so hopefully you're gonna get a little bit smarter and you're going to be able to um, think a little bit more clearly in terms of how do what is economics and how does it all work and blah 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 because it basically is the principle of this two two people exist or entities and they want to mutually survive they want to mutually coexist um, when they assist each other mutually that they, they an exchange can take place um, this exchange is done with tangible goods or via uh, non-tangible services or ta or a combination thereof, but it's a collection of or it's an exchange of different uh, different things that are mutually beneficial for both parties, where both parties uh, it, uh, agree. Okay, if whatever it is, it could be hookers and blow. If they both agree, fine, that's fine. You know. Uh, well, maybe that's illegal in some places, so you're not allowed to exchange those types of goods and services. Or it could be um, uh, cars. Cars are, you know, produced, and uh, you want to buy a car, you go and give them your money for that car, uh, and there's an exchange. And every time in business, if you if you didn't get what you were expecting, that was bad business. Okay. In cryptocurrency, you can see that this is generally not understood by anybody, especially um, some of these guys talking about you in, in the YouTube world. So here's what I'm going to um, highly recommend is that if people don't understand exchange, they don't understand products. And if they don't understand products, goods and services, they cannot understand economics. Economics is the means by which goods and services are mutually exchanged throughout a society to mutually benefit everybody. And and that's actually how you live. That's how you get your bottled water, all your gasoline, all your car, you know, um, you know, your grocery store, all that kind of stuff is economics. And cryptos will follow this rule as well. And that's why some some cryptos are very dangerous because they have no product. They have no actual exchange value, okay, or future hope therein, okay. So it doesn't. It could be also like uh, you. You. I'm not totally. A, for example, I'm. I'm very pro transactional currencies because their particular purpose or their particular product is to allow exchanges to take place in um, in a way where there's very little uh, restriction, okay? Uh, from one person to another, it, you can pay, I, you can tip your staff five bucks, send them five bucks in Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, okay? Um, that's, the, that's the value of those uh, services. But once you get into tokens, you have to be really, really careful because uh, if if the companies that are raising the funds are using, uh, you know, said token, don't understand the principles of exchange, that, that you know, they're never going to get around to uh, producing something that actually delivers viable, tangible, or, you know, intangible goods and services exchanged to a customer who will actually buy them. And so I strongly, you know, I think that people should really, really stress this a lot more is that every single token that has no goods and services attached to it or future hope of, you know, or, you know, it is going to die. OK, it will. It will violate economics. It cannot survive. If it's not giving anything back in terms of a product, it's worth nothing. OK. 
Um, I'm sorry, but yeah, it, you know, even good art is not made just for the artist. An artist has to sell his art. He has to get it out there. It has to be exchanged with the world before it's considered good art. And that's why art is basically business. Uh, it's creation, but it's... It, anyway, there has to be an exchange. And if there's no exchange, there's no fucking product. And it's, just, and it's not going to work. And you need to understand this. Before you start investing in all these... So there's so many different ways you can invest in cryptocurrencies. Okay, thank you. That's the video. Okay, bye.